Hi, I'm Syed Hashimi, a program manager working on Visual Studio for Mac. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick five-minute overview of the types of applications you can build with Visual Studio for Mac. With Visual Studio for Mac, there is primarily three different types of, of applications that you can build. We've got mobile development with Xamarin, and uh, there's two flavors there. We've got Forms and uh, native iOS and Android projects. With Forms, you can share the logic and the UI of the application across each platform. With the native iOS and Android variants, you can develop your application and have access to 100% of the native APIs, uh, a high performance experience. And uh, in that case, you would share your view models and services, but the UI of the application would be developed separately for each target platform. We also have support for web and cloud development. And uh, with that, we've got .NET Core and ASP.NET Core. And uh, for the cloud, we have support for Azure Functions. And we'll get more into this later on in our demo for that area. And we also have support for game development with Unity. Uh, in Unity 2018, Visual Studio for Mac is the default C Sharp editor for Unity. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the, uh, the, mobile, uh, the mobile applications here. We're going to open an existing uh, native iOS and Android project, which I've previously created. You can see here that I've got a uh, storyboard open, and we can use the, the storyboard to graphically design our application. And uh, this is very similar to the storyboard editor that's available in Xcode. And uh, we've got similar functionality for, uh, for the Android projects. Let me go ahead and start this project without debugging so we can see, um, so we can see what we're working on here. All right, we can see we've got our uh, application loaded up here in a iOS uh, simulator. And uh, so yeah, this was our uh, kind of native application that, we, that we've developed here. And uh, now let's move on to discuss the, the web and cloud development. OK, I have an existing application which I've been developing loaded up here. It consists of a Azure Functions project as well as a, a Razor Web Pages project. Um, in addition to these types of projects, you can also create .NET Core console projects, uh, .NET Standard class libraries, as well as unit tests with MS tests or XUnit. Um, let's go ahead and explore uh, this application, which I have here. And um, I've already started debugging this. Um, so yeah, so this, the Razor, uh, the, the, the Azure Functions project consists of uh, a single class here that contains a, a run function. This run function is uh, monitoring a particular blob storage. Whenever an image is uploaded to this blob storage, uh, this, this run function will automatically be triggered. Then it's going to call the computer vision client to analyze that image. And then the results will be returned to us uh, as to what the, the computer vision believes that the image contains. All right, uh, let me show you the, the, web, uh, the web app part of it itself. So here I've got my index.cshtml. We can see we've got uh, special formatting for, um, for the HTML and, and Razor components here. Um, on line 10, you can see that we have special formatting for the input ASP.NET tag helper here. Uh, and if I was to look at the, the code behind for this, in the uh, on post async uh, is pretty much where, um, where the, the image will be selected by the user inside the web application. And then the purpose is, or the functionality that the app provides us is that it will take the image provided by the user and upload it to, uh, to that blob storage that the function is running. All right, let's take a look at the image that we're going to upload uh, using the website. So here's the image. It's a picture of my two-year-old daughter and a wooden table that I previously created for her. So now let me load up the, the browser here. And I will pick this file, and then we're going to uh, click Submit. And then we'll take a look at the, result, at the result coming out of the Azure function. All right, so the function is running. I've just clicked uh, Submit on, my, on the website. So shortly, this function should uh, load up. OK, here we go. All right, so we can see it's detected a new blob. And now it's giving us some information about the image here. So uh, the name of the image, and then the caption uh, is a small child sitting on a wooden table. And then the, we've got some other information that it thinks the image contains here. 
All right, let me go back to Visual Studio for Mac. All right, now we're done with the, uh, the web and cloud development portions of this, so let's move on to discuss the, uh, the game development. Okay, here I have Unity 2018 loaded up with a sample game here. Uh, if I was to go into the, the assets uh, menu item here, I can select Open C Sharp Project. This will open Visual Studio for Mac, and then it will open the solution that's associated with this particular game. And uh, now my solution has been opened. Uh, you can see that we've got a lot of uh, C Sharp files listed here. And uh, I've got the fireworks.cs class loaded. So let me set a breakpoint. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and debug this and hit that breakpoint. I'm going to click the, the play button here to build and start debugging this, uh, this solution here. All right, now I'll switch back to Unity and then I'll click the, the play button here. All right, now we can see the, the breakpoint has been hit uh, in the, the fireworks class. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable this breakpoint and continue running the game. All right, so now our game is running. So that was a very kind of brief demonstration of uh, Unity 2018 and Visual Studio for Mac. And uh, that pretty much wraps up this video. In this quick video, we've shown you all the things that you can do with Visual Studio for Mac, including mobile development with Xamarin, web and cloud development with .NET Core, ASP.NET Core, Azure Functions, and then also game development with Unity 2018. This is Syed Hashimi. Thank you for watching this video and keep an eye out for future videos in this Visual Studio for Mac tips and tricks series.